What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. I'm gonna do a follow-up episode. I feel like reception was warm enough to this game where I- It was warm enough for me anyways. I enjoyed the hell out of this game. And so we're gonna go for another skirmish here. I'm gonna do a team 2v2 today. I'm still testing the waters. I haven't played like at all. This is seriously like a day after the last episode was recorded. I'm busy a lot. I'm gonna be the quartermaster this time around. And then I'll be on team one. Yes. Uh, Bellified will be on my team. He will be a hard AI. Cool. We'll have Archimedes over there. He will be team two. He will be a hard AI. And then this person, we'll have Hopper on our team. That's what's up. Hopper will be on our team. And she'll be a hard AI as well. I get the feeling we're probably going to get stomped out with some rapidity on this one. I really like the squirrels, so I'm going to take the squirrels. Uh, the suicide bombers, not feeling those. The sappers, I don't really know what they do. We'll go with wing demons. Yeah, we'll go with some wing demons. That sounds good. We'll go with the... This time, I didn't get a chance to even summon the Matriarch the last time I played. I just couldn't keep my food supply up high enough to get it done. I'll try the Thermal Air Sniper. That seems pretty sweet. Maybe it's just like a turret that I can move around or something. I don't know. Maybe that'll be swell. Now we'll try Uncle Butter. I don't know what Uncle Butter is, but he seems like he's probably badass and he's probably capable of hurt and pain. Uh, maybe we'll go for some snakes. And maybe we'll go for the little mortar guys. That seems like a sweet team. Yeah, let's go for it. I don't know how much synergy we're going to have, but hell, worth it to me. Conflict is inevitable. One debt at a time. Let's go ahead and we'll get things set up here. So does my does my homie clear out land for me too? Because I don't need to scout if she's just going to do it. Like, I can hang out over here and just be boring as shit for all of you and just, like, dump content over to this side if I really want to. Let's have a little look-see around here. I... Not seeing a whole ton of enemies. However, I'd be willing to bet that they're around somewhere. So there's blue. Oh, and they're actually side by side. Okay. Well then, let's... I can't access the warrants. For, there we go. we got to get down into the mouse warrants and we'll get the hell out of here. Perfect. Now that I've got enough, we'll drop right there. Do we share resources, by the way? I hope we're not sharing resources. That'd be gnarly. I want to see what this air sniper does. It costs 120. It costs like twice as much as my other defenses did. But I'm sort of curious. I want to know what it do. What it do. And as soon as we get ourselves solidified with some of the supply over here, we should be, in some respect, solid. I would like to take a second advance point if I can. Let me see if that's going to be a thing I can accomplish. Because, really, my ally is sort of responsible for building defenses up and along this way. Can I build on her territory? Is that possible? Can I do that? It looks like it's remotely possible, like it can be done, so I'll build whatever that is right there, and we'll kind of just wait and see what it do. I'll put another one over here, too. I'd like to secure her land before I do anything else, because I don't trust the AI to actually set up any sort of defense. Yes, fight each other with shovels. Obviously, that's the way that this should be done. Oh, shit. So those are snipers, then. They actually, like, fire high damage rounds at enemies that want to come inside your territory. Okay, I can live with that. Let me leapfrog then, now that we've got a little bit of sniper cover. I feel okay with gambling on this spot right here so that I can get a little bit of extra food resources earlier on. Now that I also have defenses, I'm going to put in a squirrel warren right there. I don't want to overextend any of my supply like I did last game. Last game I basically spent up all of my cash and it cost me a ton. Let's go ahead and do that right there. Get that all nice and slotted in. And then we'll have a look and see what the enemy is doing at the moment. Eh, looks like we should mostly be able to hold over here, but it might be a bit of a stress. I would like to have more defenses over here, though. Like, I would really like it. We've got the food to get some of that cracking, so I'm just going to sit that down for the moment. I think they're going to hit us right here, and they're going to hit us hard once they do it. So let me drag a couple of these dudes over to defend the farmstead on this side. And then we'll just wait it out and see what happens here. They are coming in for a big assault now, so who even knows how this is going to go. However, I do have characters capable of shooting them, so that's always a good sign. I've also got the food advantage right now, so my suggestion would be to draw everything I can to myself and just kind of hope that we hold. My sniper wall is doing okay. It's doing okay. They've got a couple of frogs coming through that way. Oh, are they like looping around me right now? I'm a little bit curious what they're doing. Build me another farm right here. I want to have lots and lots of food. I'll be responsible for the defense for right now since the AI seems to be mostly concerned with doing other little things. I am going to build some of these birds. So there it is. Stronger forces are on their way. Uh, if we haven't taken a second location yet, probably a good idea to do so, but... 
just haven't seen it yet. You guys get down here. I'm going to call all my units to me on this side because I need help. Everybody needs a little help sometimes. It looks like they're trying to loop around and mess with my homie over here. So you know what? Let's just hurt them a little bit. Let's tune them up a little. We'll show them the revolvers. Let them see the brucka for a minute or two. And so there it is. We're now producing units, although our food supply is absolutely crazy at the moment. I would say we're in the process of creating a bird. Let's create this big bastard right here. We'll get a boar. I want to see what he does. He's a special forces boar. I feel pretty good about that. You know how good at boring people you have to be in order to be a special forces boar? Like, you got to be pretty solid at it. Let's call forward all of our units since he's going on an attack right here. I'm going to claim that grist mill since we should always be moving forward and kind of plotting towards the enemy in some respect or another. Pull the units forward. And if you guys can fire on something, I highly suggest that you do so. Uh, destroy their ability to produce and we should be able to make a nice little dent in them go ahead and pull over here that's actually a fallow field so I don't think it's gonna matter too much oh look at that they've got other units right there they've got other units okay so while the battle is still fresh I'm gonna draw down to here ah never mind that was a waste of resources big old waste of resources and they've managed to destroy the one that I just claimed once again, waste of resources. It'll be all right, though. It'll be all right. Once our boar starts getting produced, I think we should be solid. I'm also going to drop in another squirrel den over here. Because why not? More squirrels can never hurt us, right? There we go. Now we've got the accessibility of nine squirrels. Nine squirrels. We've also got access to a couple of birds. I would not hate to have a few more birds in all actuality. Let's maybe drop that down right there. I swear to God, if they ever break through our lines, we have problems. Where's my pig at? Our farms are going barren. So, yeah, this is going to be the point in the game where we really want to put forward some kind of, like, concurrent offense and actually, like, do something. With the flamethrower, this big bad mother. Yeah, get rid of them. Get rid of them. Burn them down. Our farms are going barren. Yeah, that's going to be a problem that continues until we're able to, like, strike forward. Go ahead for a big battle up here. Flamethrower should be able to hack it. I'm going to keep them focused on this space because I don't think we have much of an option. Uh, yeah, pull forward. Pull forward. Pull forward and start wiping out their financial base. I mean, they don't have a whole lot left anyways, so I don't see a problem with working on it a little bit. But if we can burn them down just slightly, basically allow them to not feel quite so haughty, I would feel better about our choices. It looks like we've got a nice rush going right now. We've picked up momentum. Does that get blue off the map? Is blue done? I don't know if blue is done, but I hope it gets them off the map. Since we've got, like, a bunch of allies right here, I'm just going to pull forward. We could try to hold this from where we're at right now. Pull forward into the breach. Go ahead and take them with everything you've got. That should create a gap for red to start pushing through. Dude, this flamethrower pig is what's up. Flamethrower pig got that chop. He got that action. He got that brucka. We've got the HP right now to where they can't really stop me. Everybody just keep deploying into their land. Is that yellow up and out of our hair? Or do we have more to worry about here? I think we got more to worry about. Oh, look at that. And Red's doing a pretty good job down on this side. Just pushing at the enemy and causing a little bit of a problem. Making a bit of a hassle for everybody that wants to fight. There goes another one of their little paddocks right there. And we will push down to this one and go for the victory. Although it looks like they've built up another one on that side. I'm going to go ahead and burrow home. Oh, Bellified's done. That only leaves Yellow. Yellow's trying to recover right now. Yeah, recover. Yeah, come out there. I want to see, like, what I can do here. So let's start dropping some some real reinforcement. I don't think Yellow's going to bounce back, but we've got such a ridiculous advantage at the moment that I forgot that I even a starving army will turn on itself. I forgot that I even made this over here. This ground is defiled and nothing will grow here. Yeah, it looks like you can actually deplete the soil after a whole bunch of time, and it just never comes back. I like that, though, because a lot of games turn into turtle fests when you've got inexperienced players or anything like that, or just people that aren't gamblers. They don't like to go out and put their balls on the line to see if they can win. And the interesting thing about this game is it forces you to be a little bit more, like, a, there's not going to be, like, any one-and-a-half, two-hour games in Tooth and Tail. I just don't see it happening. That's not a thing that's going to exist. Instead, it's a game that forces you to rush ahead and just start causing problems for somebody. I don't think I would like to... This dude's going to try and bounce around and mess with me. I know it. 
Maybe don't rush him. I'm going to let Red have the glory over here. Let Red do his thing. Yeah, the farms are going to go barren, and there's not going to be much that I can do about that. CPU2 is starving. The KSR claims more land for itself. Ha ha. The mighty revolution has proved fortuitous, my friends. Well done. We are the most awesome and also the most best and also the ones that will get the most sex. Hooray for us. Return to the lobby. Well, I don't really know where we should go from here. Aside from maybe considering, I don't know, we could check out something with the online play. That might be a decent thing to go after. Is anybody playing right now? Uh, no, there's actually not that many people playing at the moment. And so there's no open games, so we're going to have to leave that to the side. We'll skirmish again. We'll go four-player skirmish. Let's go with the Quartermaster, because I like his graphic the best. Hopper. We'll put her on hard. Yeah, just keep them all locked in, and this should be a free-for-all. I hope, if it ends up with people just getting, like, mashed on. There's no teams right now, so it should work out okay. I do like these little dudes right here. We'll go for them. We will take the sappers, since I have no idea what they do. I assume they just destroy buildings real good. We'll go with them. I like, let's try some artillery out here. Let's try some artillery. We'll play real defensive this time around. And then we'll go with inmate 438. I like the sound of that. Let's give it a try. Inmate 438. Conflict is inevitable. Indeed it is, because it's a game about us fighting each other. So one would assume you wouldn't have much of a game if conflict was, like, avoidable. This would be more of a 4X then. You'd sit down and you would talk and you'd be like, Hey guys, it's a little weird that we're not going to be able... You know, it's a little strange. I find it a little odd that we're going to go to war over this. Let's talk about this. Maybe we can have some kind of even land distribution where it works out a little bit better for all of us. I don't have the food to claim this place, but I am going to claim it. It's right next to my it's right next to my digs, so I'm going to go after it really shortly. I'm just going to wait for our food supply to start stacking up so we start producing some of that good stuff. I got four pigs producing right now. Should have five producing pretty soon. You guys keep farming and doing your thing. I wonder if there's going to be a mod that you're going to be able to get that allow you to remove the crops going fallow. I think some people would like that too for like a much longer duration play. All right. Let's go find our enemies here. There's Blue. Blue's in kind of a weird, wacky spot. Sucks to be Blue. Blue's going to get stomped out quick. Blue's in a real bad spot. Blue's not going to have the best day ever. Uh, we are being fired upon already. I am going to try and get outside of their range and back to my territory. And I'm actually thinking getting some defensive units up early is what I would rather do since I don't have access to anything that's going to give us like an amazing supply. There we go. We'll put that up right there. I don't know what this is going to cost me. This might be a bad plan. We'll try to get this second grist mill going. But I'd like to produce some defensive units first because our artillery is obviously... Oh, we do have actual turrets. Oh. Maybe I'll do that next time. Yeah, it does look like we're going to struggle a little bit. Looks like our food is almost even. We're gaining a little bit on it. So I'm going to build a farm right here. Oh, wow, he's already got units up and running. Okay, so put units over here, start squishing them. Doing your thing. We can't afford to, to lose farms right now, so go ahead and get that back up and running. Yeah, I want everybody on defense. Fight them where you can fight them. Bite them where you can bite them, but get people out here, get them cracking, get them ready to go. We'll build another farm right there. Oh, my God, Red's on us now, too. How are they building units so rapidly? Good lord. They are not kidding about that unit acuity. Yeah, I can't really do much against that. We're going to have to uh, get rid of one of those. We'll build a farm over here, but this might just be a stomp out. I don't know. We're in rough shape at the moment. Cue this up and get it back up and going, but I don't think it's going to work because multiple factions are hitting only us and nobody else. I, I thought this was going to be a free-for-all, and it looks like it's actually four versus one. Yeah. It definitely looks like they are only attacking me. I'll go over and check Blue out and see what Blue's doing, but it don't look like Blue's getting shot at a whole lot. Yeah, Blue's just sitting over here, like, doing his thing. What happens when I die? I'm curious. I want to find out. Oh, it just takes you a while. You just got to respawn and come back. Okay. Yeah, I know an unfed army will turn on itself, but we're getting... I would have played this very differently if I'd known it was going to be like... I thought it was going to be a free-for-all, so I played it a little bit differently. Played a little bit differently. So here's how we're going to do this. I think we're going to do a pretty hardcore play. I mean, not hardcore. No, not brutal. That's a terrible idea. I'm going to get 
whacked if I do that shit. Let's do a couple of people on medium. And we'll see if we can handle, like, a whole bunch of enemies just on medium difficulty. That looks good to me. I'll take the Nomads of the North. I'll take defenses for sure. So I'll take that. I'll take... Inmate 430... Or 43B sounds good. I do like the Wing Demons, so I'll take them. We'll take Snakes. No, we won't take Snakes. We'll take... Sappers. We've never taken Sappers before, so we'll take Sappers. And then we'll also take... You know, I don't find that defenses are actually that great in this game. Like, you can turtle if you want to, but it's risky to turtle. It's really risky to turtle. Like, it's a strategy that you can do, but in general, it's a bad plan. Alright, so let's have a look around and see what we got going on here. My estimate is that they're going to be cornered up. And so what I'd prefer to do is we'll put that in right there. Yeah, he's already got us. This is not a boxing match, Arroyo. All right, so we've got this place over here. So blue is actually close. I think blue is going to be the first target that we really actively go after in a vicious way. So my thought is we'll put a couple of turrets right here. And then we'll start worrying about it a little bit. I'm going to put in a turret right there, get that all nice and cooking. And then I'll put in another one right here, and another one right here, and then we'll put in a couple over here because it looks like we've got another faction coming from that side too. We just don't have time to scout it out and see what it is that we want to do. It's going to depend where they're coming from because they're all on the same team right now. We've beaten two mediums. I think we can take three mediums too, so we'll just keep that thought to ourselves, however, for right now. We've got enough food doing its thing. We probably want that to become productive. I'm going to burrow home. I didn't realize that was going to be a dead end right there. All right, reconnaissance is done. We'll get that in right there. Let's go turret right there. Turret right there. I'm going to focus on my defense first, and then we'll focus on getting other units all nice and tied in and doing their thing. I'm probably going to expand in this direction, although that doesn't leave a lot of defensible space. This, however, do. They're going to be hitting us soon, though. So I don't want to waste a ton of my resources on things that are not going to be advantageous over the long term. We'll get a farm going right here. And once the farm is good... Ah, uh, they've already got sappers. They may knock over this farm. It might have been a mistake. Come on, get done. All I need is for you to get done. Please get done. There we go. That's what I like to see. Get a couple of turrets in right there so that we can defend ourselves along that front. We are now shooting. Oh, it is free for all. Huh. Maybe they just lock onto a different person at the beginning and they just decide who they're going to go after. And I got unlucky and I drew, you know, a whole bunch of problems right there. Oh my good lord. Blue's having a rough day too. Yellow's making moves. Uh, if they're just going to flood through that way. Glory to the KSR indeed, sir. Glory. Great glory to the KSR. I've got that right there. They're fighting on that front. I do think our turrets are probably going to go down over here. Let's get a few more farms up and running. Ah, uh, they've got the sappers, I think, hit them with crits. Wow. Yellow's actually expanded pretty quickly. Yellow's doing their thing right now, making me look foolish. Yeah, go ahead and sell it, actually, so that we get the resources back real fast. That's the better plan at the moment. And seeing as they're pushing us back to a fallback point, we do want to focus a little bit on getting some new units up. We've got inmate. He's got a chain gun? Whoa, I just... I have to see this. I mean, it might cost me the game. This might be a horribly imprudent thing to do right now. And it might cost me the game, but I just have to see it. Like, I have to know. There we go. Force him to walk around. Get chewed on a little bit. Man, those pistols do damage. You'd think a pillbox would be better. It would be better insulated to small arms fire than that. There we go. Have I lost my influence zone? What's happened here? How come that's fallen back? I'm going to bring a couple of U-Cats forward. You are going to sit right there while this happens. 
I will use you for what I need to use you for, and while you're being used, good, my birds, do your thing. Fly, my carrion of war. Fly. Although I could use some more defensive stuff over here, so let's do that. Save a little bit of cash up so that we can have food, though, because food be expensive, yo. There it is, and so our mill, dude, is it chopping up meat right now? Dude, are we putting pigs to death in order to build our farms? I didn't even notice that in the previous episode. The saw blade goes down and it comes back up bloody. No lie. It comes back up real, real bloody. What's happening over here? I think yellow kind of teetered off. I don't think yellow has much left to play with. Yep, get a couple more farms in. I'd like to maintain the advantage on some of this. And then I'll also put you in right there. Oh, we got our chain gun soldier. Chain gun soldier, I would like you to hang out right over here. Chain gun soldier, yeah, buddy. We got our inmate doing our thing. Our Slavic badger ready out here to murder some dudes. Get it done. It looks like he deals damage, too. Looks like he brings down the Brucka without giving a shit. Man, the chin on that guy. The chin on that guy. It seems to me you want to get some kind of healing unit, though. If you're going to have heavier units, be relentless in our pursuit of victory. Yeah, so perfect. Let's get that. That farm's up and ready and moving. I'm trying to keep my food solid right now, but it's it's difficult. This game, you walk a fine, fine line between, like, overextending yourself and making sure you're properly using your resources so that things don't go wrong. Farms are starting to go barren, so I will expand out and do some different things pretty soon. We've got a yellow attack coming in from this direction, which leads me to believe we need to refocus. Yeah, go get him, champ. Go get him. Let it happen. Definitely don't let them have a snake hole right there. God, look at him chop him down, dude. He's vicious. He's a monster. You fall back to this point, defend our land. While I get a few more of these, all nice and laid down so that we can hold our position. Uh, we've lost a farm over here. I'm having trouble seeing what stuff I can walk over and what stuff I cannot. I am going to bring them over to here. We have tons of units all ready to go, ready to protect our land. Let's go ahead and get this land back up and running too. Losing a farm in this game is like a major detractor. It's bad for your health. Is there a reason we're not shooting at these guys? I was going to say, you guys should definitely... Shoot at him if you can. I would love to see you murder some of these enemies that are really trying to mess with our lives right now. Everybody stand down there. We'll get these farms back up and running. I feel like I'm playing a backpedal game right now, though, just trying to keep my shit up and running. And it's not going to work out for us in the interim. It's really not. So that guy's running over there, perhaps, to mess with me. Get another farm up in here. And as long as our defensive line holds, I don't care. But we might lose our big guy pretty soon. So I'd like to get some food up and running before that happens. You guys just deploy right here. I need soldiers. That's all that I need is pure warm bodies unless you're cold-blooded. Don't take offense to it if you're cold-blooded. It's not your fault. Oh, he's got artillery. So he's just going to shell us. There we go. Get that artillery out of here. And you know what, Blue? I'm tired of your shit. There we go. Let's just chew up Blue real fast. We're going to make sure Blue is no longer a contender. And yeah, we might take a little bit of heat here for it. We might lose a couple things, but there we go. Bellified is up and out of the way. That's what we needed right there is we need a nice little blitz to get him out of the way. Just run up in here, cause some drama for your mama. Oof. In the meantime, these little pricks been building up all kinds of forces. All right, fall back, fall back. There goes one of our farms right there. Oh, if we don't play this just right, it's going to sting a little bit. So yellow just did some serious terrorism to us. I do have soldiers, but they're not enough. I'm wondering if I should focus more heavily on, like, low-level units just to kind of get things locked in. Here, you guys come over here. Just try to hold them off for a little bit. Man. Oh, yellow's coming for us now. Yellow's gunning for our jewels at the moment. I need somebody down here to fight. I need them down here yesterday. 
Part of the problem is that I have an expensive unit that like takes forever to build. And like once he's in position, I'm just gonna tank it. There you go, get him. Oh no. Yeah, you guys can just like shoot me, I don't care. Just gotta get that bird out of the sky, perfect. All right, so existing assets need to be sold. We're no longer messing with blue down here, so we'll sell that. These farms cannot be sold. I need to get some food back up and running, though. I need to get some food back up and running badly. We are playing a losing game right now that is not going to work for us. All right, so we got them all taken care of right there. We got a little bit of squad rolling out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actively going to sell him. We will bring this forward so that we can claim that. Oh, snake's already here. Damn it. All right, come get this snake down here. Oh, they've got another army already. This dude's raising armies at, like, record rates, man. Like, at, like, holy shit rates. All right, so we've got some land down here. That grist mill is building. What I need is if they're going to go for, like, small units... Let's do the same thing. Let's play the same game. Farms are going barren. That's unfortunate to hear. So I don't really feel like dealing with that right now. Production is absolutely going to stall out because I just don't have anything to play with. I can sell this place right here, which might be an idea. Sell you. Sell the lizards. And we'll just play kind of a, a nasty game of chicken over here. Just massed units versus massed units. And we're going to lose that battle. That's for sure. Why won't they, like, seal the deal and win? Like, why aren't they coming after us? Because we can't come back right now. Like, we're really, really struggling with... Actually, it might not be so bad. Farms are going barren already? Or the... you talking about the ones up here. He's talking about the ones up there. Okay. I can live with that. Farms can go barren. Not stressed. We can try to do is we can try to fight them for like every square inch of land here. Why won't you guys try to beat me? I feel weird about this. Like it's odd that they're not like interested in killing me. Yeah, chase them if you have to. I mean, if we can eliminate some of their units here and cause some problems for them, I would definitely prefer it. Kill off a couple, why not? Nope, you ain't gonna destroy that, because I'm gonna sell it first. Oh, nope, can't sell it first, never mind. They're hitting me from all kinds of weird directions now. Stop killing my dudes. Oof. Rough fight to be in. Rough fight to be in. Well, I might be able to do something here. I fortified the wrong side, so that's what we're living with now. Just, like, finish me, man. You've got the chance to destroy me, and you're just not doing it. You're just dragging it out. Uh. I wonder if the AI just selects objectives, maybe, and then, like, if it feels like it can't hit them, it just kind of backs off. I don't know. Yeah, you guys shoot me. I don't care. Just don't shoot the defenses I'm building. There you go. I kind of I, I kind of messed that up. I probably could have done smarter over there. There you go. Whack him. Take him out. He's got to be out of food, too. Ah, shit. We're starving. No! We don't have any farms. There are no farms to have. Sell a couple turrets down here to get back on my feet. It's not going to matter, though. There we go. We'll claim the grist mill. We'll try to get that back up and running, but we are in rough shape right now. Then again, I think so is the enemy. I doubt that the enemy is in amazing shape right now either. Like, if they're still able to feed their armies, I'd be surprised. Really? That's how it's going to be, guys? That's how it's going to be? All right. I'm going to put in a turret right here, and they're going to murder you. I need some pigs back up and running. Hopefully that's in range. Oh, it's not. Son of a bitch. I'm going to go ahead and call this one an L. I don't think we're coming back from this one right here. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think we're a little bit tapped out. This game is called Tooth and Tail. I hope you guys liked it. I'm terrible at it, but it's an interesting game that I think everybody should know about if you're into competitive RTS or anything. I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.